What's up guys and gals? Remember on my previous video I installed a double den bezel and a 92 GMC Sierra. Well, I figure it's time to add a little flavor to it. Everything is gray on the dash and it's black. So I'm gonna add a little color to it and other parts of the dash also. Hope it turns out okay. But this is the color that I'm using by Duplicolor. And here we go. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull those, pull the vents out. And they're held in by these little clamps that goes in like this. I don't know if you can see it. it goes in that little hole, push down onto the, onto the vent itself snaps it in place in the other hole but yeah you want to take those out first you don't paint everything put those in your pocket or in your vehicle somewhere out of the way because you don't want to lose them you never keep the vents in the place. Next step would be wiping everything down good, which I already did because I can't hold it very well and record it. But as you're wiping, make sure you get all in the cracks as best you can. Get all the dust and debris out of there. Use some rubbing alcohol or degrease or whatever, anything, any cleaning solution. I just use some rubbing alcohol. And so now I'm gonna get ready to spray it up. Anybody who's done any kind of little painting knows the shake can very well. I don't feel I need to tell you guys that. I'm sure you already know it, but say it anyway. I start with a light coat first. I won't worry about runs. I'm not trying to cover it too quickly. As long as it's covered, in the end, I'm good. I have all day. Just doing light coat after light coat. So it's completely covered to my satisfaction. Which with this duper color, it won't take very long. Pretty good brand of paint, I think. And that's how it looked after the first coat. Let that dry a minute and then we'll come back and lay another one. All right. That's after the first coat. Just kind of patchy and still see the black in it a little bit, but it'll get better as we keep going. After it dries, it has like a flat red look to it, which it should. I'm good with that. Get ready to add another coat and see how she look out there that. All right, guys, that's after another coat. It's starting to look pretty good. I'll have to let it dry a minute and see how it turns out. See a couple of spots that I'm not that happy with, but for the most part, it's looking pretty good. It's turning out okay. I know some of you guys are probably wondering why did I choose to put red on it? Well, 
Red was one of my buddy's favorite color. He passed away a little while ago. And eventually I'm going to do my truck up as a in memory of him. So why not kick the party off with his favorite color, which is red. Just for those who's wondering. Okay. I went ahead and put on a third coat. And I'm pretty happy with the results of that. It's looking pretty good. At least to me. And it is my truck, so. It's all that matters. Everything's covered pretty good. No runs. If you guys hadn't did much pain with cans, just remember to stay away from whatever you're spraying. I always stay away like three inches. It always covered pretty good for me. And I never slow down or stop. Just always keep the same motion. That way you won't create runs or just wads of paint in one place. Just keep one motion, it'll cover itself eventually. Just go over it as many times as you feel you need to to get the results you want. And I'm happy where I am, so I'm gonna let this dry a little while. Um, well, it'll dry for a while while I start to do the rest of the dash. All right, guys, I took out the glove box door. I'm going to take the back side off. It has look like eight, maybe ten screws. Ten screws holding it on. Or twelve. I don't know. It's got screws holding it on. I'm going to take the back side off so I won't get any of the red color on it. I'd like to keep it black. And uh, the bezel is still out there in the sun drying. I'll put it back on shortly. And start breaking this down. All right, guys. I started to remove the screws from the glove box door. And they started to flex in some odd way. And I'm not gonna lie, I punked out. So I've decided that I'd rather paint the entire glove door, front and back red, instead of taking a chance and breaking this old brittle piece and having to go try to find another one. I mean, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Probably go ahead and snap the vents back in this once it dries I'm gonna probably get me a bucket of water and degreaser soap and soak this thing down and clean it up real good because it's a little dirtier than that than the bezel was so I'm gonna have to really clean it good before I start to paint it and so that's gonna be the plan is Clean it up good, paint it completely red. Once the door is shut, it's gonna look the exact same anyway from the outside. And I'm cool with that. But the bezel, it turned out pretty good though. I must say so myself. It looks pretty good. It's gonna look even better once I stick the vent back into it. Well, the vents. So I'm gonna let it dry a little longer before I mess with it. Probably go get me a my wash bucket and get ready to start cleaning this little booger. All right, I got to grease down and degrease it down. And let that sit for for a minute or so, and I'm gonna clean her to death. So hopefully the the dye will stick to it pretty good and it won't be peeling in the next week or so.
All right, guys, I went ahead and laid a couple of coats down on the inside of the door. Doesn't look too bad. It's good enough for me. It's not going to be seen that much anyway by anybody other than me. So it'll do. I'm just going to flip it over and get on the other side, get it looking as good as the bezel turned out. After it dries, I'm going to let it dry here for another 10, 15 minutes before I turn it over. Make sure I don't scar it or anything, but I think that'll do for the inside of the door. Hey man, I think this is going to look pretty good. Uh, all right we let her drive flipped her over we did a touch test first make sure it wasn't still wet everything was dried up pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this side of it all right it's called coat number uno dry a minute and we'll come back and lay another one on there all right the top of it turned out pretty good I think I'm screwed though on paint the can is getting pretty empty as I only bought one can because I was planning on spraying the bezel to see how it would turn out before I bought any more cans but the barrels turned out pretty good I liked it so I'm gonna use the rest of this up on this door and probably run grab some more either today or tomorrow either way it'll all be on one video but I have to run back to the store and grab a couple more cans so I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this on the door and see how it turns out What's up guys? I went ahead and put the vents and the double den back into, into the bezel to get an idea of how it would look. And I'm pretty pleased. It looks pretty good to me. I just can't wait to finish up the rest of the dash. Finish up the rest of the dash and See how it, how it comes together. But I'm really, really happy with the bezel. It looks a hundred times better. We're talking about a hundred times better. But the idea is the bezel goes here. I'm going to paint all of that. I'm gonna paint this. And I'm gonna leave the outside of it, the remainder of it gray, pretty much. And I'm also gonna take the trim in the out around the, the speedometer cluster. I'm gonna take that out, paint it also, paint it red also to kind of bring it all the way across the dash. But it'll, so that'll be coming here shortly. 